is i realize that there is a lack of awareness in terms of what is available in the market in terms of technology landscape what is an erp it's the only application you will need to manage all your back office operations what happens when a company does not implement an erp i think those kind of scenarios if they want just one single system ERP wins hands down. What happens? Is it like a big disaster or something? What happens exactly? Really, uh, when we talk about customization, uh, not many companies are aware of that. So, can you give a scenario on how it works all seamlessly together? More than 97% of the Fortune 500 companies that are betting their business on Microsoft Dynamics and Power Platform. Welcome Nitesh to our Dynamics Insight podcast. Thank you so much for joining us in. Uh, could you give us a small brief about yourself and what is Dynamics Square is all about? Thank you so much, Ramita. I am excited to be here. I am Nitesh, and I uh, lead the sales and go-to market initiatives for the Dynamics Square. Uh, I have been with the business for more than seven years now, and my main role is to help companies streamline their back office operations through Dynamics 365 applications. And uh, how we do that? Uh, we do that. Uh, while speaking with all the companies who are using legacy systems or perhaps have outgrown their accounting applications. Uh, so uh, when I speak with uh, the decision makers of different companies, I realize that there is a lack of uh, awareness in terms of what is available in the market in terms of technology landscape. And this is my main job is to first really understand what are their core challenges, what they are facing across different operations and how we as a Microsoft partner can really uh, help them achieve more. And we do that through through series of steps. Uh, we do that through detailed discovery, understanding of their processes, uh, really go deep in terms of uh, what they are using, how they are using it, and perhaps what is a better way of using it. Yeah. Uh, and then once that is done, you know, the configuration and the next steps becomes extremely easy for, for our team, which is super talented in the Microsoft Dynamics space. So, uh, for our new listeners here, many listeners like are new here and uh, they would want to know what we are actually going to talk about. So, could you give us a small brief about like throw some light on this term called ERP. What is an ERP? An ERP stands for Enterprise Resource Planning. Uh, it's a software that combines all the back office operations under a single source of truth. Uh, when we talk about back office operations, we primarily talk about finance, account receivables, accounts payables, purchase, sales, production, inventory, uh, jobs, or could be warehouse. And this is what an ERP does. Uh, whenever a user logs the data into an ERP, then that data flows across all different processes. And this is what an ERP does, which no other application does. Primarily breaks down all the data silos. Uh, as a business owner, you don't need to invest in different technology and probably invest your time and energy in coordinating with different vendors who will be supporting that technology for you. Uh, we are that one-stop shop where not only we make sure that you use uh, the ERP uh, to its fullest extent, but what are the better ways of uh, using the technology when you, your business grows. But uh, what benefits does a company, especially SMEs or SMBs get by implementing an ERP? Pretty interesting question. Uh, there are different scenarios or you can say different benefits that companies get while they implement an ERP application. The first and foremost is definitely around that it's the only application you will need to manage all your back office operations. Uh, and when you have that single source of truth, uh, your data accuracy becomes uh, pretty straightforward. Uh, you end up taking decisions on real time basis rather than relying on people and different technologies. Uh, and also if you are a scaling business, if you're a company which is growing, uh, definitely an ERP on the cloud will help a lot. Uh, you can always add on modules, you can always bring in more companies into it. And if, if you are a business that is uh, that is really has plans to do business across different geographies, uh, I think this is what uh, you know, an ERP, especially on the cloud, really helps a business to grow. Uh, along with that, uh, if a company has got other processes that are still are not streamlined, for instance, their warehouse operations, uh, for instance, the way they manage their incoming invoices, 
this is what an ERP does, especially something like Microsoft Dynamics Registry 5, which has got uh, probably thousands of applications on its Microsoft App Source, uh, which really allows companies to bring in all those add-ons and the uh, applications perhaps on top of Microsoft Dynamics. So all in all, uh, I think these are the, the, uh, the, the benefits that they get. Uh, but again, it also depends upon use cases, upon different scenarios. No one business, no two businesses are similar. Uh, so I also want to ask you about uh, why, what happens when a company does not implement an ERP? What happens? Is it like a big disaster or something? What happens exactly? Uh, see, if a companies uh, do not opt for an ERP, uh, it's not the end of the world. It also depends what is the exact use case for that company. Uh, we as a Microsoft partner, we don't sell an ERP to a company which they probably don't even need. Uh, if it is an actual use case, uh, if we really understand that uh, they really are struggling uh, with their operations, uh, this is, uh, you know, and this is where my, an ERP could be beneficial for them. So how they realize that, you know, it's the right time to implement an ERP, like, yes, we need something, you know, to so that our system should be integrated, the all processes should be streamlined. Why? Uh, when do they realize that? When's the right time for them? Uh, if a company is really trying to grow, uh, they are really trying to bring in more revenue, really streamline their back office operations. Uh, make sure that there is no redundancy in terms of data, in terms of uh, loss of uh, revenue. Uh, I think those companies should definitely go for an ERP. Uh, other use cases could be around uh, if a company is into production and they really want to un keep control of their stock, uh, both their finished goods and semi-finished goods. They want to understand what is the, the product or items that they are purchasing, they are selling, what is coming in, what is going out. I think those kind of scenarios, if they want just one single system, ERP wins hands down. So apart from Dynamics 365, um, does Dynamics Square work with other technology partners or ISP partners to help businesses achieve their goals? Absolutely, we work with multiple ISP vendors. Uh, it all comes down to what the use case for that company. Uh, if a business perhaps want to automate their warehouse operations, uh, there is a uh, there are a number of mobile WMS solutions that we work with. Uh, if a company really wants to automate their incoming invoices, uh, we work with different partners to really automate all their incoming invoices. If a company is also looking to integrate their e-commerce website into Microsoft Dynamics per se. Uh, we have the ISP solutions that uh, really not only integrate all these e-commerce applications but they also integrate with their own B2B or B2C website that they've got. So all in all, uh, I think this is what we bring in to, to any business. Uh, it's a complete digital transformation uh, starting off with ERP and if there is a requirement for an add-on or perhaps bringing in any CRM on any other application. Uh, which is part of the Microsoft ecosystem, we'll be more than happy to do that for them. So basically you're saying that uh, Dynamics Square not only offers the Microsoft applications, but the customized applications as well, which is obviously uh, according to the what business needs, right? Absolutely, absolutely. And interestingly, uh, when we talk about customization, uh, not many companies are aware of that. Uh, a customization could be a small work for a couple of days or it could be a big customization as well. Again, it comes down to we understanding their requirement in and out and perhaps suggesting them what is the better way of for them to utilize the application. If it is something which is must have, we would definitely recommend them to go for this customization. If it is something that they can live without, then we would not recommend companies to go for the customization. So what point, uh, what is your point like on uh, what kind of industries should implement the ERP? There are different industries that can get benefit uh, while implementing an ERP like Microsoft Dynamics. Uh, industries like food and beverage, education, manufacturing, professional services, construction, retail and there could be other 
scenarios as well where in ERP fits in hands down. Uh, there might be scenario that in some of these industries, for instance, retail industry, uh, where you will need a retail POS solution as well that works best with an ERP at the back end. I think on those scenarios, you definitely would need another application that talks to an ERP. Uh, but uh, if it is a pure finance, purchase, sales, production and warehouse operations that they want to streamline uh, without managing the retail operations per se, an ERP can definitely uh, will be helpful across all these industries. That's great actually, thank you so much uh, for a small introduction on the ERP term. Uh, so I would also want to ask you about Dynamics 365. What is actually Dynamics 365? Uh, is it an ERP or a CRM? What kind of integration does it have? See Dynamics 365 has got a line of different business applications that not only streamline the company's back office but uh, other processes as well. Uh, for instance, uh, there are ERPs like Dynamics 365 uh, Business Central, which is a modern mid-market ERP for small and medium companies. And there is an application called Dynamics 365 Finance Supply Chain, which is an enterprise class ERP software that is suitable more for the uh, companies which have uh, complex uh, processes and have got uh, presence across different in in entities. Similarly, there are CRM applications, uh, which is uh, primarily around their sales, customer service, project service, and customer journeys, which was marketing earlier. So can you give a scenario on how it works all seamlessly together in Dynamics 365? So all in all, it is the only ecosystem out there that has got all these applications talking to each other on the cloud directly by Microsoft. And on top of that, uh, there are already, I think, more than 97% of the Fortune 500 companies that are betting their business on Microsoft Dynamics and Power Platform. Wow. I forgot to mention about Power Platform. Uh, there are different use cases around that, applications like Power BI and Power Apps, uh, which is now very popular, built primarily on Microsoft low-code, low-code technology, that really allows companies to not only absorb any ERP implementation or any CRM implementation, but if they want to do something on their own, probably build an application or drill down data and build some crystal clear reports using Power BI, they all can do that uh, in-house. I think this is the entire stack of, uh, of the partner ecosystem where a partner can help companies implement uh, an ERP or a CRM application. Uh, but then there is another story which is around companies, if they want to do something on their own, they can use Power Platform to, uh, to make sure that uh, whatever they want to achieve, they end up achieving that. So how can a unified ERP system simplify operations for companies using multiple applications? Again, there could be a number of scenarios around that. If a company has outgrown their accounting application and they need uh, uh, not only a finance process or a finance module, they also want to implement purchase, sales, production, and inventory management, they should definitely go for an ERP application. An accounting application has its own limits, uh, right. which is totally unlike uh, which an ERP has, has got to offer. Another scenario could be if a company is using or perhaps using different legacy systems, which probably were been deployed you know, a few years back. And uh, because you are now in a stage where you have actually growing as a business and you want to scale up, uh, add more users, you know, add more entities, make sure that you add more processes as well across all these, uh, you know, across uh, different uh, entities, companies should definitely go for an ERP application. Other than that, if a company is just starting off, they are a startup and all they are doing is using spreadsheets, uh, it, it becomes a hectic task to manage everything on, on a spreadsheet. Uh, and uh, again, because Microsoft Dynamics 365 works seamlessly with the entire suite of Microsoft 365, including in Excel, so importing and exporting data into an Excel is super easy in Microsoft Dynamics. So this is what, uh, these are some of the scenarios where companies should look for an ERP. 
another scenarios could again would be around uh, they have different applications all these applications don't talk to each other and there are different vendors that you end up coordinating with uh, because uh, you imagine a scenario where a company has a different application for accounting and has got a separate application for their manufacturing process and they have another application for their reporting purpose you're talking about three different applications and three different vendors to deal with uh, what now we tell up talk about a scenario where all these could be managed by one single application and all you have to pay is the subscription fee to keep running those applications and uh, because now most of the companies are moving towards cloud and uh, with the uh, issues around uh, you know uh, data security uh, and uh, interdependency and this is what microsoft dynamics er cloud erp you know generally serves a purpose for companies who have got big ambitions who really want to outgrow their accounting application and also you know compete in this in this market uh, an erp definitely uh, is, is a better way to deal all those problems so that's a wrap up for today's episode on erp i hope you found it insightful and helpful in understanding how erp systems can transform businesses thanks for tuning in and if you have any questions or want to dive deeper feel free to reach out until next time keep innovating